part video, I'm going to show you how to use the jump instruction together with the label in the codices. So as you can see here, we have an example in which we have one push button and the switch and three pilot rams, PL1, PL2, PL3. So whenever P the switch is not pressed and push button is pressed, pilot ramp 1, 2, and 3 will be turned on. But as soon as the switch is pressed, the jump instruction will become true and the execution of the program will jump over the wrong number 3 here. And as a result, whatever the value PL2 had, it will be kept until next time that the, the rung uh, is executed one, while the switch here is open and then the jump instruction is not uh, activated or it's not true. And then the push button here will turn on or off the pilot lamp number two as well. So here in the cutscenes, I'm going to have a similar program. In the ladder logic, I have uh, two Boolean variables for the PB1 and for the switch. I've called it PB2, but it's you can call it switch as well. And we have three pilot lamps. I start by inserting a contact here and associating it with PB1. Okay, so PB. Then there will be the coil of PL1. The next rung, so here I'm adding a network below it. Uh, we have another contact. So going back to the program here, you, you see that we, we need to refer to the switch and place a jump instruction. So I will do similar thing here as well. So this will refer to P P2, and then here I need to insert the jump instruction. You can find it either here in the general part of the toolbox, and just drag it and drop it here. And then we need to determine a label for that. For now, I just call it label 01. Then in the next uh, network or rung, I will have another contact referring to PB1 with a uh, coin instruction referring to PL2. Another uh, rank referring to the, the a contact referring to again PB1 and a coil for PL3. Now we need to insert the label here as well. To do so, you, you can just uh, pick the label from here, so you see the insert label. If you click on it, you will see that the label appears here, and we need to determine the label 01 name for that, so I will add 01 to the contract. All right, that's all. Now if I just save the program, and uh, so we are already in the simulation mode. I can do login. and run the code. Okay, so the both, both of our switches are by default in the true uh, state. Here, let's start by turning both of them off. Here, PB2 uh, is determined by, the, by this uh, switch here, yeah? and push button one with, with this one. So you can see here that as far as the PB2 is not turned on, the PB2 contact is not true, we don't see the effect of the jump to the label. By turning on and off the PB1, all the three pilot lamps are turned on or off. Now, if I switch the PB2 to true, the label is activated. Now, if I set PB1 to true, we will see that PL1 and PL3 are turned on, but the PL uh, 2 is not turned on because this this part of the code, this, this rung is not executed anymore. But now if I just uh, turn off PB2, we will see that this rung will be executed next time as well and then the, the, the value of the PL2 will be true as well.
All right, so this is how, how does the jump instruction is working and how you can uh, use the jump and label instruction in the in, in the Codices environment. That, that's all for this video, and thank you again for watching.